that's a primary school there. This is the parking for Cinnabar House. You can see if I go over here. <clears throat> there is a barrier and all the fence panels are intact. You can obviously walk straight in, but that's to be expected. At least there is a barrier to get your car in and out, which is the main thing. And then if we walk over to Cinnabar House itself, you can see just going up there, there's a, if I just zoom in, there's a, a playground on the left-hand side just up there. You can hear the trains in the background because we're just near the station. That's the parking for the school that's there. Going over to the building itself. You can see down the side there. Got this fabulous feature on the top there. sort of area, it's just a residential area. It's taken me a couple of minutes to walk here from the train station. You can just see most of the windows are actually UPVC. You can just see some of the communal areas could do the lick of paint but as I said to Julian I think they're waiting for the new owners to come in on board because it's been in receivership so they haven't really done any work to it. Essentially it's all sound. Just zooming in there. You can see it's a combination as I say it's a grade 2 listed building so you can see most of the windows are actually UPVC. Just zooming in on those there. Beautiful building. There aren't really any communal areas outside the building. The parking, as we say, is over there. It's the gated area. Just going around to the front of the building now. As you can see, there's a bit of a grim building over there, but you can actually probably see there's a guy uh, with a step ladder. Are. They're actually in the process of refurbishing that. Apparently, it's been bought at an auction, it's been done up. Everything else is habited around the area. Just going to go up to the front door. Can't get in, unfortunately. We will see, it's actually mentioned there, there's a CCTV in operation. And you can see there's a security code to get in, which doubles as an intercom for visitors. push it through, you can't really see too much inside, we'll go internal pictures anyway. Just go around to the other side. This is the Green Street elevation. Try not to get run over. Trip over instead. And you can see going up to the top floor, you've got some beautiful floor to ceiling windows, which are all in UPVC. There is a combination, as I say, UPVC and the wooden ones. The wooden ones look well, they are sound, but they can just do with a lick of paint, which is to say will be resolved by the uh, management company once it's out of receivership. Let's go into the back. Clearly a fairly good plan. You can see here got a couple of nice murals there. And there we can see the rear of the building. Got like a little communal area here. 
So that doesn't actually belong to the development, but uh, you can actually see if you zoom right in some of the paintwork along the fascias could do with a bit of a sand down and sorting out. And we'll just go all the fort way around, there's a bit of Harris fencing there that needs to be removed. problem with developments in receivership, all these things get missed out. You can just see the surrounding area there, you've got the town centre just down there. And there we go. Pub there, walking down to the town centre. Travel lodge is just down there in the distance. You might be able to see the glass building there. It's all pretty much quiet, just uh, so yeah, I think the main issues are that some of the fascias could do with sanding and painting. You've got half U PVC and half uh, original wooden sash windows which need a bit of something, but very nice building. Decorative detail on top of there, fabulous. And you've got the parking down to the right hand side just behind the grounds van.